Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for stopping by the channel for a That Good Sante cream cheese box rummage. These are online pickups from a variety of sources uh, over, you know, could be months, could be years, uh, but they're all waiting to get plucked and sorted away and organized into my collection. So let's just get down to it today. I'm gonna pick at random as we usually do for a few minutes. And here is a cool one. This is a Scoring Kings Wayne Gretzky out of Fleer Ultra. This was from the mid-2010s Ultra uh, kind of remake uh, that was done or Fleer Showcase uh, set that was done. If we take a look on the back, yeah, 2016-17 Fleer Showcase Hockey. You can see right here. Uh, but sort of a throwback to the 90s, uh, you know, Thunder and Lightning themed Scoring King cards, which I love. Uh, obviously, the Michael Jordan in the world of basketball is extremely popular. And so even though this is not a playing era Gretzky, um, I think this is a card that you could for a long time pick up very, very cheap that has a tremendous amount of promise as a card. And I've already seen kind of prices start to go up on this. Um, I did have a couple copies that I bought on Com C and left in my inventory. And I was recently able to sell one of those for about $40. So um, was really, really surprised by that. But cool Gretzky there. Let's go into the middle of the box, and I'm gonna have to take a little bit of tape off of this one, unfortunately, due to the very thorough tape job that the seller did here. This is from Opeachy Platinum. It's a Premier Superstar insert. I think these were some sort of like an unannounced or like Easter egg, you know, quote unquote type card uh, that came out in Opeachy Platinum for the 2020 season. So this would, I think, be like a second year um, Kale McCarr. You can see his rookie stats or his stats from his rookie year uh, in 2019 on the back here. And uh, obviously I was drawn to this for two reasons. I love the shine, uh, love McCarr as a player, um, has really exploded onto the scene as one of the best defensemen in the league uh, already at his young age. And uh, defense is usually a position in the NHL where you can play uh, a little bit longer in terms of years in your career or duration uh, compared to forwards. So hopefully many years ahead uh, for Makar, and that's kind of a sneaky cool card there. Let's go to the soft sleeve portion, and it's all hockey to start. Uh, hopefully we'll pull some other sports uh, shortly for variety, but this is a rainbow color wheel Connor McDavid card. And of course it has, you know, starting in the upper left, continuing clockwise, all of the colors of the rainbow in this uh Opeachy Platinum Parallel. These have been out for, I think, maybe six or seven years now, and I really, really enjoy them. Um, they can become sneaky expensive over time, so kind of wanted to soak up that McDavid now on the cheap. All right, finally we get a baseball card, and this is a really, really cool one. Check out this Clayton Kershaw in front of the Clydesdales here. How cool is that? This is a Stadium Club Chrome Gold Minted insert. And I'm going to take this out of the case because unfortunately the uh, seller here used some uh, scotch tape on the edge, which is uh, kind of ruining the overall appeal of the card. Uh, these are one per case. These are case hits in Stadium Club. They have been for a few years now. And there are typically 90 cards on the Chrome insert checklist. I talked about this recently in my uh, video on Shohei Otani pickups. This is even rarer because this gold version, gold minted of the chrome, only comes one per case, whereas a base chrome card comes one per box. So these are, you know, 10 to 12 times as rare as uh, the regular Stadium Club chromes. 90 subjects on the checklist, so you don't need to be a genius to do the math and uh, understand that there are only one of those Clayton Kershaw Stadium Club chrome gold minted cards per 90 cases of that particular year's uh, Stadium Club product. So really cool Kershaw there. He's a guy that I don't have um, as many cards of as I uh, wish I did. Um, I do. I would like to pick up some more Clayton in the future, but that's a pretty cool one for today. Uh, let's go into the soft sleeve area here. We have a vintage card. This is a great one from 1954 Bowman, Hobie Landreth. And uh, love the photograph on this one. Um, I would have bought this card regardless because I am really drawn to catcher cards, uh, vintage and pre-war catcher cards. I love looking at the old equipment uh, that they would wear back in the day, the tools of ignorance, and kind of seeing how that's developed uh, over time. But in this case, it's sort of a 
dual purpose card for my collection because I am working on a 54 Bowman baseball set, uh, the complete set, and I did need this Hobie Landreth. And uh, as you can tell by the white sheet that I plucked out from the back of the card, uh, this was a Com C purchase. So a lot of my 54 Bowman set has come from Com C over the last, uh, say, maybe 10 years. Um, I just sometimes browse around and look at what's out there for just a dollar or two that I need that's in halfway decent shape and pick up a couple cards. Here's an exclusives parallel from Upper Deck. I have talked about these so often, uh, but they started all the way back in the late 1990s and they continue to this day, always serial numbered to 100. And this is the great Ron Francis, a childhood hero from my Hartford Whalers. And of course they went on to become the Carolina Hurricanes. Upper Deck exclusives, you can see the serial numbering here on the left side of the card and just awesome. So this one, this particular card is from the early 2000s. I believe it's a 2001 set, uh, but you can see here his time spent with the Whalers, uh, later the Penguins where he'd win multiple Stanley Cups and then back to the original franchise now located in Carolina. So Ron still number five in career points in NHL history. Um, was able to get this exclusives card, number to 100 of a guy of that magnitude for under $10. So gotta love that. Uh, let's go into the left portion now of the box. I don't think we've pulled anything from over here today. And here's another baseball card. Rafi Devers. He's been having an interesting season this year. The power has been there. Um, he's definitely been slugging his fair share of home runs. Um, as expected, the average has not. And I honestly thought... Uh, the ban or the limitations on the shift would help him um, average-wise, but it's it's not been the case. Uh, but I'm still a huge believer in this guy. Uh, with Bogarts and Betts having been uh, traded away or lost to free agency uh, over the course of the last few years, he remains uh, my favorite player on the current squad. Um, so I'm always looking to add some Devers uh, cheaply if I can. And this is a really kind of a sneaky card. It's a second-year uh, his rookies came in 2018. This is a 2019, and it's the purple refractor out of Topps Chrome. So this will be numbered on the back out of, uh, in this case, 299. You can see copy 52. And uh, yeah, just, you know, first couple years or even three years of a player's career, really love finding those early cards if I can, and was really happy to soak this one up. It was, you know, again, uh, I want to say that was, if memory serves, around $8. And I know purple is, you know, not the rarest parallel and it's kind of looked down upon a little bit for some reason, but um, I will happily add that to my uh, Devers collection and probably put it in my little Z folio that I have going uh, that has a mix of uh, Devers and Juan Soto cards. So happy to see that one come out of the box. Let's go back into the middle here. Looks like we have some soft sleeved cards here from Com C. Whoops. And here's something you don't see often, a shiny Mickey Mantle card. So I love my vintage and I've shown uh, various Mickey Mantle cards uh, over the history of this channel. I'm fortunate to have a, a handful of them, uh, but I like uh, modern takes on the vintage players as well. And even though this is unlicensed, it's a uh, card that can't show logos or even uh, mention the Yankees team by name. I just love the design and the shine of this particular card. It's obviously got elements of 1990 Donruss uh, with the, the cursive name here, uh, the lines across the top and even on the sides. Um, it's really a modern shiny take in different colors on that 90 Donruss relief, uh, release. And I think it's a great photograph here of the Mick as well. Looks like he just swatted one deep to the outfield and uh, is admiring his handiwork before dropping the bat and taking off for first place. So. Uh, uh, first base, I should say. Um, this is not serial numbered, um, I don't believe. This is just a regular, like, silver parallel, which is basically a refractor. Um, I'm sure I got this incredibly cheaply, definitely under a dollar, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was more like 50 cents. But, um, yeah, just a, a cool mantle wrinkle. Um, you know, they don't all have to be valuable 50s and 60s cards to be enjoyed. I, I like that mantle as well. Uh, let's do one more card here. We'll do uh, middle of the box, and we're going to end on a pretty awesome one, and it's I guess it's fitting because it kind of ties to the Devers that you see on the left here. But I've talked a few times now about Mookie Betts and how I'm particularly drawn to his cards from 2018. And here's the latest. He 
the 2018 Topps Chrome Purple Refractor of Mookie Betts. And I've, I've said it before, so I'll only go through it quickly here. Uh, but the reasons I love this card, I love the image. Obviously, I'm a Red Sox fan living in New England, so I love that as well. And in 2018, Betts had his season for the ages where he won a batting title, an MVP, and the World Series uh, for my hometown Boston Red Sox. So love that card uh, for all those reasons. I think the image is fantastic as well. And uh, yeah, it kind of goes nicely here with the 2019 Devers. Uh, we have the purple version of that. And then from the year prior, we have the purple Mookie Betts. Of course, also just like the Devers, numbered to 299. So a nice new Mookie edition there. Again, trying to get as many versions of this card um, as I can find, at least within reason. And uh, yeah, that's the latest. So there's uh, the final card for today's That Good Sante Cream Cheese Box Rummage. Truly appreciate your time stopping by the channel. Hope you saw a couple cards that were of interest to you. And as you know, I'll be back in the very near future with some more content. Enjoy the hobby, everybody, and take care.